The world is dynamic. Life and earth are constantly changing, fluctuating and evolving. Life first evolved from a supposed primordial soup. Lifeless, randomly drifting chemicals began interacting to form the basic ingredients of life, organic molecules. The earth-shattering Miller-Urey experiment showed that organic molecules could be harvested from an, from an artificial copy of early Earth's atmosphere. However, this theory did not provide a mechanism for how organic molecules could overcome entropy and form self-replicating systems. Fortunately, a solution was found deep down. Life likely started deep underwater at the oceanic ridge. Hydrothermal vents provide an environment conducive to complex molecules arising. The compartmentalized structure of the vents ensure the molecules are closer together and can interact without drifting apart. The high temperatures generated by the upwelling of magma originating from tectonic plates drifting apart allows molecules to overcome the information threshold of entropy and increase their complexity. This increase in complexity permitted the rise of the last universal common ancestor from which we all descended. The interactional increase did not stop with complex molecules and hypercycles. After the rise of the last common universal ancestor, bacteria, prokaryotes from the bacteria and archaea domain cooperated to give rise to humanity's most commonly perceived cell, the eukaryotes. Plants and animals, birds and beasts, humans and crustaceans, all are eukaryote-based life forms. Volvox algae give us an incredible in-depth view into the evolution of multicellular organisms from unicellular life. Different species of Volvox show us different steps in the evolution of complexity. Some of the most important steps are the production of extracellular matrix causing cells to bind together, controlling the maximum number of cells through genetics and the division of labor amongst the cells. As complex and diverse as life gets, it can always come to an abrupt end. 65 million years ago, a meteoroid, 50 kilometers in diameter, came hurtling into Earth's atmosphere, breaking the sound barrier and heralding the demise of the dinosaur's dominance. Upon impact, massive waves, molten rocks and huge clouds of dust were released. Molten rock and dust ejected into the atmosphere 65 million years ago can, incredibly enough, still be seen today. For example, the remnants of the debris can, were deposited in the form of spherules at the KT boundary. The massive pressure near the impact site caused rocks to deform and was today known as shock quartz. Despite these setbacks, life persists and continues to grow and evolve. Thank you for watching our video. We'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs> everything is changing. What are you still doing here? It's open. Go home. And don't be a little bit